Hey YouTube! So welcome to my empties video. Yeah. I love watching empties videos because I think I've probably explained this before. If you actually take the time to go through something instead of throwing it away or um, giving it to someone then you'll probably really have an opinion about how it works and be able to give the best opinion that you can. Anyway, so I have a couple of empty things here, some, actually a little bit of everything, skin care, body care, makeup, scents, all kinds of stuff. So I'll start, oh, if you see a little someone running around in the background, my kitten, he can. So I'll start off with this Clean and Clear Soothing Eye Makeup Remover, oil free. Oh, and the cat is climbing up my back. So here it is, right here the one in the purple bottle and this one uh, I, I got it from the drugstore I like the price good and cheap um, the only thing about it was that it just stung my eyes a little bit uh, it's kind of funny because it's a soothing eye makeup remover and since it stung my eyes that claim is obviously not exactly true but other than that it did take off my makeup so it did work in some way but since there are so many makeup removers out there I'm actually trying another one right now so at the moment I'm not going to repurchase this one but if I was ever in a pinch and I had to then I would. Next item <laughs> is my Lanza Healing Hair Care Healing Color Care Leave-In Treatment Color Preserving Trauma Treatment here it is in this bottle here and it's basically just a leave-in conditioner and I actually had this bottle for so long. I probably had this for like two years because you only need like the smallest little pea size amount and it smells so good. It smells exactly like my salon that I go to. And I really love this stuff. And when I first bought it, I thought it was kind of expensive. It's, I think it was like 22 bucks, something like that. But for the amount of use that it gave me, I would definitely buy it again. I don't know if they even make this anymore because it was like two years old. And I've never seen it anywhere except for my salon that I go to and I don't know if they sell it. But um, I would for sure repurchase this again if I could find it because it was so amazing. And it really did a great job of moisturizing my hair, uh, getting rid of tangles. It says it was good for color preserving. I haven't really colored my hair in a long time, so I can't, I don't really remember if when I was using it, when I had colored hair, if it did a great job of, of um, preserving the color. But I know that it, it did leave my hair moisturized and, and easy to brush and comb through. So actually, I would try other things from, other products from this Lanza line because I had such a good experience with this one. Next item is actually, this is kind of funny, it's just an e.l.f. brush shampoo, super cheap, it was like a dollar, something like that. It's a good shampoo, I had it for a long time, a little went a long way. I actually have another one that I repurchased, so yes, I would repurchase, except that the bottle's a little bit small, so I think that next time I'll probably just buy a baby shampoo. Um, I'm not big on really expensive brush cleansers, and so I figure if it's good enough, Usually if it's good enough for my hair, I mean I would never use this on my hair, but if I bought something like a, like a baby shampoo that's good enough for the hair that's growing on my head, it's good enough for my brushes. Next, whoop, next items are sort of um, linked together and they are some mascaras. The first one is the Sephora Advanced Lash Booster. It's just Oops, it's that guy right there. It's just, it's just a really, a black tube that says Sephora kind of around the, the top there. And I probably wouldn't have tried this um, if I bought it on its own, but I got it in one of the Lash Stash packages. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. It's in the color, I don't know what color it's in, but black. We'll just say black. It's in the color black. Um, but yeah, I probably wouldn't have tried it if it hadn't been the last stat, Lash Stash package. But I mean, it was alright. It worked okay. The only thing that I found was that it dried out really quickly, which I didn't really like. Um, it does have sort of a traditional... I always get mascara all over me when I open them like this. It has a traditional 
um, hair brush instead of the plastic bristles, which I like, but dried out rather quickly, which I don't like. The other two were small sample sizes, and I don't think I got either of these from the, the from a lash stash package. I can't remember, but I don't think so. One of them is a Clinique High Impact Mascara in black. That's this one here. And the brush again is sort of a traditional bris traditional bristle brush. That's a tricky thing to say. This one, I don't remember anything super fantastic about it. I know that it worked okay, but it wasn't the most amazing thing ever. Um, I know that I've gotten much better results from a cheaper mascara, so I probably won't rush out and repurchase this, but it was fun to try. And the next item, I'm, I'm kind of sad because <laughs> I've worn off, I think I took this with me somewhere so it was in a makeup bag for a while, but the writing has actually all worn off and it was the Lancome Hypnos Drama Volume Mascara. I'm going to say it was in black, but as you can see, like the writing is almost completely worn off. Now, this mascara had a really weird brush and it looks kind of chunky and choppy. It's got a bit, of a bit of a wave to it, but I really don't like those bristles. And I know that people seem to love the Lancome mascaras, but I don't know, I just can't get on with them. I, I don't know, I, I just, I really tried much better mascaras at a much better price range. I don't know, and something about the smell of these, like, I think they're supposed to smell like roses, but it just smells really odd to me. And actually, um, I can remember one instance where I was wearing this mascara and I was taking something out of the oven, and this has never happened to me before with any kind of makeup or any kind of mascara or anything, but I was taking something out of the oven and the wave of heat hit me and the mascara like crunched and dried up. And so my lashes kind of singed to my eyes and it was the scariest thing ever because I thought I had burnt my eyelashes off and it was just the, um, the moisture coming out of the mascara at, at a really quick pace, but it scared the heck out of me. And so, I, I don't know, that's just what I think of every time I look at this mascara and I don't really want to try any of the others. But we'll see, maybe in the future I will, but of right now, no. My next item is a, I guess a scent. It's the Cassis Rose Eau de Toilette from The Body Shop. Here it is right there. And this is really pretty. It's kind of a powdery rose smell. And I love the pink bottle that it comes in. It just looks so pretty. And I love, you know, so funny. I love this little, I don't know if you guys can see this, this little cap that goes on the top. It's just the cutest thing ever. And so I really like this. I actually got it as a gift. I didn't pick it out for myself. I, I'm not usually a flower person, but this one was just so, so nice. I actually really liked wearing this at night. Like before I would go to bed, I'd be like, oh, the smell of it, it just made me, made me relax and feel kind of sleepy. But um, yeah, I mean, I would maybe repurchase this again. I have a lot of perfume, so I don't really need any more right now. But uh, yeah, I definitely go with, with the Body Shop perfumes, photo toilettes again. So I really enjoyed that. My last item is actually a body product, and this is really old, and this shows you just how much I tend to hoard products, because I'll, I'll get something and then I'll use a little bit of it, and if I really love it, I'll be like, no, don't use it up. Save it for as long as you possibly can. So, um, so the things that I end up using up most of the time are stuff that you know I don't really love, which kind of sucks. I should just use the things that I really love. But whatever. But I actually got this as a gift for my birthday, like, oh my god, I want to say maybe five years ago. Yeah, and, and you guys are going to laugh because it's such a small size and it took me this long to use up. But like I was saying, um, I tend to not use up things that I love. But since I kind of got into watching these empties videos, I was like, you know what? I should stop hoarding and just use up the things that I like. And if I use them up, then I'll just enjoy them. I can't get them anymore. Oh well, at least I had that time with them. And so this is actually one of those things. It is a Sephora Whipped Delight body, bo 
butter. Well, I don't know if it's actually called a body butter. Sephora Indulgences Whipped Body Delight. There it is right there. It's just in this little tub here. And it's in the scent Coconut Nectar. And man, oh, this thing smells so good. You can see I totally liked, oh, there's a little bit left. Hold on. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, you can see I used up like every little bit that's in there. And it just smelled like fruity coconut island, lying on a beach, sipping a Mai Tai. I'm not even really sure what a Mai Tai is, but I'm sure it's a fruity drink. But I just, I love the smell of this. And I think that because Sephora made this so many years ago, they don't have this anymore don't have the scent anymore and they definitely don't have this packaging but I just oh I love it and I'm, oh, I'm really sad that it's gone <laughs> but anyways that's it for now um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know I really like watching them if you want to see any more then I guess let me know or give this a thumbs up and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day bye